Hey, what's up guys? It's Ian here just for a usual quick vault video. Um, I added a, the Shadow Priest and the Hunter into the rotation, so we got a couple more characters than usual. So let's see how this week treated us with anything special, maybe. Um, if not, the uh, Twisting Time Ways, as I mentioned previously, is finally coming soon, I think, not next week, but the following week, so in two weeks, we will start to have the every Time Walker in chronological order, and they will all offer a heroic raid piece for the weekly, so that'll be a nice little boon for potentially really good trinkets, weapons, that kind of stuff, um, so I'm looking forward to that. In the meantime, let's see what we get here in the vault. I'm going outlaw just because I might want to switch eventually one day. I guess it doesn't matter. I get gloves. Indestructible. But my current gloves have leech. So downgrade. I'll take the tokens. I think I've also mentioned a couple times that my characters are getting pretty close to max gear. Until I start doing, like, I think the next threshold is plus six, six teens. Plus six teens. And that's a bit high. <laughs> I mean, I can do them and I have done them, but it's just... It's, it's just a little bit more effort required for me to do, you know, seven or eight characters plus six teens every week. And it takes a little bit longer to fill a group. Sometimes, you know, the, the players are a higher caliber, but if you flub the first pull or something, or the first boss, there is a chance people just say, you know, this, this isn't worth my time, and they just leave right away, and then you gotta reform the group, and reform, and find a new key, blah, blah, blah. But again, that's all maybe... Maybe that's just me making excuses. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see if I start branching up into the higher keys. I'm not opposed to it, but... Okay. This is huge. Because I needed... I needed a two-hander. This is the two-hander I've been using as arms. Yes, that's right. A 382. Non-upgradable. Season 1. So this is huge. I'm actually, I'm actually probably gonna run this week's key as arms, just to see how it, how it is. Cause I honestly also have a lot of fun playing arms. So I wouldn't mind changing things up a little bit. I do have fun playing prot too, obviously, but definitely not opposed to arms. I've always had a, a love for arms. Oh, here's a gladiator mount. That's sick. That thing is sick. Gladiator Uda. Gladiator Uda. Um Yeah, so that's cool. Nice arms weapon. Entangling, nice. So pretty easy week. Tyrannical entangling. Let's see here. Alright, almost to the new priest. Let's see what the bear gets. I think I could maybe use a different trinket on him. But he's also pretty close to max gear. I was just thinking today while looking at Wowhead, you know. I wouldn't mind maybe playing some resto, but then I would need a staff and trinkets. Again, not the end of the world, but it is a limiting factor, because I always did like Resto a lot in terms of healers. I've always been fairly decent at it, and it's just, speaking of Resto, that's a really good uh, Resto ring. Um, nah, I'll probably take this. Oh man, I don't have any, okay. 
So I'm not really making any big headway towards a socket on this guy, but I guess potential for some crests. I think I maybe have a couple a couple of items that could still be upgraded. And by a couple, I guess I mean... <laughs> Ooh, I guess I mean one, the neck and the trinket, two. So even then I'm getting kind of close to the end of that. All right, let's see what the priest gets. I played disc this week. Um, I'm probably gonna wait to, uh, till I get a couple more pieces of gear before I switch to shadow just because it's I feel like you can uh, get away with being a little bit lower item level as a healer as opposed to DPS just because DPS you know everyone has meters and everyone likes to just see big numbers so if you're sucking ass and kind of cheating your way into the group in a low item level healer then uh, you'll kind of stand out a little bit more and, and it'll be s slowing everybody down so so let's see here. Oh, I already have shoulders. I already have tear shoulders rip. It kind of sucks. I could have really used rings, trinket, neck, cape, belt. Yeah, okay. A 50 50 chance maybe it's some, something good, something bad, a main hand or a staff. Okay, all right, so pretty unlucky, but oh, I did get the heritage armor Super easy If you're curious about doing it, don't hesitate. It's very very quick 15 minutes 20 minutes Super easy super quick um, I think it looks awesome I think it's super cool All right the monk Again, while I was looking at Wowhead today at work, I was kind of just thinking, like, should I branch out onto anybody? And then I kind of started thinking about Brewmaster, because I used to play a lot of Brewmaster. So we'll see. We'll see if I spread my wings a little bit on these characters. Just because I'm fairly geared and the season's kind of at that kind of, you know, tail end, so I'm like, yeah, might as well do it now. Okay. Avoidance. Haste Mastery versus Haste Verse. The avoidance is definitely nice. 5% avoidance. Um, I have M plus subcreation pulled up, just I guess might as well just check. Are either of these chests popular? Dragonkin versus Gore Splattered. Okay, Dragonkin is way more popular. Okay. Well, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Avoidance. You would have been nice, but I don't have any avoidance. So, yeah, that definitely would have been nice, but. The stats are the limiting factor there, and having verse, having verse as a mistweaver, you're kind of double dipping because it increases damage and healing, and your damage does healing, so you kind of get a double value from haste or from versatility. Um. So on the horde side, I have my augmentation evoker, and then we'll see my new hunter. And I skipped my mage again because he's fully geared. There's literally no point. Um, so I did skip my mage, but I'll, I'll log into him for a quick sec to show you the new stuff I got in the last week. But unfortunately, no key on the mage. Um, but again, going back to what I was saying earlier about branching out, maybe a try frost. I was in a group with a frost mage and he was killing the DPS. Oh, this is this was the group. Yeah. Granted, I was augmenting him, but still, he was destroying the damage. It was 
insane how much he was doing his frost. So that was made me kind of jealous, made me kind of uh, envious and wanted to try frost. Uh, this ring sucks. So we're going to take the tokens. So yeah, maybe frost. I also was in a group with a devastation evoker. I haven't seen one basically since augmentation came out, but he, he killed the two. He was super strong. So Devastation is still definitely very good in Mythic Plus. It's just, I don't know, I feel like Augmentation, while the numbers obviously aren't as high, because you're buffing other people, I think overall, like the contribution to the overall on a group level, I think Augmentation still brings more value to the group and still you will still complete the key overall faster with an augmentation versus with a uh, devastation just because the augmentation is you're all you know you're also buffing the tank a little bit you're also buffing the healer a little bit whereas the devastation you're just pumping damage so that's my that's my two cents so we are looting as um, i do have a gun i do have a really good gun so maybe we should loot as Survival, just for fun? Sure. Yeah, let's loot at survival. Yeah, okay, yeah, we are survival, okay. Let's loot at survival just for fun. To see if we get a nice staff. Okay, a belt. Ooh, huge, huge upgrade. Stats are kind of, stats are kind of shit, but huge item level upgrade, huge, huge, huge. Over 100 agility, that's huge. Plus it's something upgrade. So that's a huge, huge pull. And a freehold, super, super nice key. Although I don't need Harlan's loaded dice. I have really good trinkets. And Hunter is a lot of fun. I mean, I made this Hunter. This is my second vault. I think I made him like two Mondays ago. And I'm already doing eight, you know, 75, 80k overall in a dungeon. So that's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. I guess everyone's super strong now, especially because you can just instantly go get four set with your with your banked up catalyst charges. Catch up cure is pretty decent. You can go do the uh, mega dungeon for four thirty sevens. So I don't know if I would do. <laughs> I kind of had a bit of a rant about this a couple videos ago about the dream surges. Um, they're retarded. Uh, in terms of ketchup gear, literally probably do anything else but the dream surges. They are so slow. The gear is so low item level. It's like, it's, it's ketchup gear if you were like, want to just veg out and like watch movies I guess but in terms of actually progressing your character like literally probably do anything else literally do anything else um so what did I get this past week well I showed you the uh night elf but I also got the undead armor also super easy if you're thinking about it don't hesitate this took also 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes tops super quick i love it it's sick this back piece is part of it i think it's super super awesome and sorry i have this like torch because i, I was doing the secrets i i need to catch up the last couple of days i think i'm on like secret 12 out of 15 for the secrets of azeroth event where you get a little mount for doing them all. But in the meantime, I also got another part of the secret. There's this, Memorons Jump Jets, part of the Secrets of Azeroth. Super easy, you just look it up on Wowhead, you just get three pieces of like the rocket booster or something around Azeroth, and then you bring them to this forge here in Valdraken. 
and then you just click them in your inventory and it creates this item. Um, it's the same thing as the rust bolt mount, nothing special. The colors honestly don't even really look that different. But hey, it's plus one, and if you don't have one of these mounts already, this is a super easy way to get it without having to do anything related to rust bolt. Going back to BFA, so this is nice if you skipped that part or never got around to it or took a break or are new. Um, but the other ones, whoop, Dream Surge, yeah, wait, no, okay, so one of them pops up when you do Dream Surge, so I got this one, this is the one from combining the 20, I don't know, fragments or slimes or whatever the fuck, just, you get like little you get a little currency when you do a dream surge and then when you do 20 of them or not 20 when you collect 20 of them I think it took me a lot less maybe it can drop anywhere between like one and four I think I got maybe six or seven dream surges I think you know the average is like three and then you just combine them and it makes them out and it's this yellow elephant and then once you do this they no longer drop so you don't have to worry about having extra bullshit in your inventory bada bing bada boom nice mount i think these elephants are pretty cool and the yellow the yellow looks decent and it's got this cool horn um and the last one was whatever this is coalescence I don't know if it'll pop up. Um, what is that? Owl? Um, sorry, bear with me here. It's the other Dream Surge related mount. Um, I have no idea what the name is. Let me just Google it super, super quick. Sorry. Dream Surges and Dragonflight. Why is this so hard to Google? Okay, yeah. What the fuck, man? Duskwing Ohuna. Duskwing. Duskwing. Okay. This mount costs a thousand of this currency that drops from just any mobs in the zone that Dream Surge is in. You'll get a bunch from any rares. You'll get a bunch from the actual Dream Surge. And you'll get like one or two, like I said, just from kind of just random any mobs or like a treasure or... There's even like little uh, mushrooms you can collect. They look kind of like a, an herbalism thing and they give you like five and there's even these little... These little like green, maybe there's something that looks like it. It's like a, it's like a green ball of green dream surge fire floating around in the air. And if you fly through it on your dragon mount, you get like five dream surge and, and like a whelp crest or something. So it's pretty easy to collect. I mean, it's been out for a week and I already have both amounts and I really didn't grind it that hard. And I already have almost enough currency to buy one of the toys. There's two toys, 500 each, and two mini pets, 250 each. So to get everything, you need 2,500. As you can see, I've already bought one mount, and I'm already at 440, so I'm already at 1,500 out of the 2,500. Um, so it goes, it goes pretty quick. If you're just after the cosmetics and stuff, Dream surges will be irrelevant within a week of doing them, 10 days of doing them, and you'll get the mount and the pets and the toys and be done. So, not really, not really sure why they added them in terms of like a, from a content perspective, uh, 
sure they add flavor and they are something to do, but they don't really bring any value to the game. They don't really bring any value to your character. Like I said, there's way better uses of time if your goal is gear. There's way better uses of time if your goal is cosmetics. There's way better uses of time if... I mean, literally everything else is like also just more fun. I think the time rifts are more fun. I even think the Fryak assaults are more fun. Why do, we don't need time rifts and Fryak assaults and dream surges. We literally just need one of those things. I don't know why we have three of them. Um, but anyway, I'm not a game designer, so this is the other mount. It's one of the birds. It it does fly, but it, not in dragon flight because it's not a dragon. But uh, yeah, so that's what you get. So I got three mounts this week, which is pretty sick. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And uh, yeah, it's a arena week if you care about arena like I said the uh, the key is a tyrannical with uh, entangling so pretty easy for keys what the hell is this title I'm a Sean I'm a Sean I'm gonna google that for later I'm a Sean wow title What? Oh, it's from O. Oh. You get it when you do the... Oh, you get it when you do the Night Elf Heritage Quest. Oh, interesting. So it's a Night Elf lore kind of thing. Oh, and I still need to get my red drain eye. They added red drain knife. Maybe you didn't notice, so I'm going to do that today before I log off, and then I'll have all the. And I'll basically be done with ten one seven. So, very minor patch, but it is what it is. I guess it's better than nothing. It's better than not having a patch and just going from ten one five to ten point two, but waiting six months between patches. I do like having you know little something here and there in between. Even if it is very minor and very, in my opinion, pointless. <laughs> but it is something to do. And, you know, looking back, I guess it does add uh, some liveliness to the game. Some sort of, uh, it is nice to go to the Dream Surge. You see a bunch of other players there. So, I mean, it does add some sense of community. It does add some, you know... If some sense of exploration because you have to fly to them I guess I guess you can make that argument but I still think they're kind of pointless but like I said it is what it is um, I'll probably never do them again after I get this last little bit of dream surge dust and then literally never do them even if I have a fresh character like it that's not on the, the dream surge would not be on my to-do list if I had a fresh character leveled to 70 so, I don't really know who it's for, but like I said, it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, I guess this weekend my plan is do some new keys, especially on my hunter and priest. And then when the time walking event comes out, definitely level my DK. Because my DK is getting there, my DK is 63. And then I would have every class at 70. So when the time walking event comes out in a couple of weeks, do that. And then when the event comes out, do the do the twisting timeways for the heroic gear. I still do not have a what the hell is that thing called? A beacon. I still do not have a beacon on the, from the beyond on any character. And I did do I did do Sarkareth and I did not get the legendary. So I'll do that again for the sixth or seventh time this week. So I'm hoping my bad luck protection pays off. And yeah, just kind of a normal week ahead. Maybe try to get one or two mounts. I don't really know of any super easy ones or ones that I'm close to. So it's becoming more and more difficult outside of, you know, patches with the 
easier mounts introduced with each patch, but it's getting a little more and more difficult as the weeks go on to find mounts to collect that aren't just a complete RNG fest that make me want to blow my brains out. So we'll see if I can muster maybe one mount, maybe two mounts, maybe some pets or a toy or something. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Sorry for the rambling, but, uh, that's, I guess, my specialty. And, um, I know I always say it, but I do have plans to add a little bit more content if that's something you're interested in. So stay tuned for that as it's a work in progress and I'm still finalizing my ideas and then just gotta, gotta, you know, film the videos and then edit them a little bit It'll probably be a little more edited than these videos as these are just kind of casual stream of consciousness while I open my vaults, but yeah, so I'm going to stop rambling. Okay, until next time. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Until next time, best of luck. Have fun. Have a nice week at work. Have a nice week at school. Have a nice week if you're on vacation. And uh, yeah, thanks, bye.